TNN, February 7, 2019, 036S Bengaluru, the ongoing cat and mouse game between the Congress leadership and rebel MLAs is headed for a climax as decisive action is expected from either side on Friday when Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy presents the second budget of his current stint. Congress leaders' worry appeared accentuated as it wasn't just the four rebel MLAs who did not turn up for the opening day of the session. Three others, including former Minister Ramalinga Reddy, B.C. Patel and Reddy's daughter Somia Reddy, were absent. Another Congress MLA J.N. Ganesh, who is absconding after assaulting party colleague Anand Singh in a resort on January 21, did not surface either. In total, seven Congress MLAs did not attend the session today, Chief Whip Ganesh Hakari said. Barring the four rebels, all others had taken permission. In the JDS camp, KC Narayana Gowda, Krishna Rajapet and Mandia district was absent. However, he is reported to have told party leaders that he could not attend due to ill health. Four rebel Congress MLAs, Ramesh Jarkihali, former minister, Umesh Jadav from Chincholi, Mahesh Kumateli from Athani and Bina Jendra from Balari Rural, have allegedly been camping in Mumbai for the past one month and abstain from proceedings despite a party whip. This prompted a jittery Congress leadership to issue a fresh whip in the evening, asking rebels to attend a legislators' meeting convened on Friday at 9 a.m. You have defied the whip twice already. If you defy it on Friday, the party will definitely seek your disqualification, Congress legislature party leader Siddhara Maya reportedly warned the rebels over the phone on Wednesday. Congress appears in a disconcerting position. It now is compelled to bring all its legislators to the House either on Friday when the budget is presented, or on the day the budget finance bill is tabled for passage. At the same time, it is not in a position to act against the rebels considering the wafer-thin majority the coalition partners have in the Assembly and with the BJP waiting to topple the government. The Congress is caught in a very strange situation where neither it can act nor sit idle, said a senior Congress minister. This has emboldened the rebels. But another minister said, they, rebels, cannot keep this game going on forever. They have to make their stand clear before the finance bill is passed, second whip defied this is the second whip the four rebels have ignored. They also defied a whip to attend the legislature party meeting convened by Siddharamaya on January 18. To keep the Congress JDS flock together, DYCMG Parameshwara hosted a dinner for MLAs at a hotel in Bengaluru on Wednesday. BJP MLA's too absent absenteeism wasn't limited to the ruling coalition, though. Some BJP legislators too missed the opening day of the session. In what seemed a move to track its MLA's, senior BJP leaders including opposition leader B.S. Yediyarapa was caught on camera passing chits with names of those who were absent. Yediyarapa was seen reading a chit on the whereabouts of three MLA's G. Karnakara Reddy, Harapana Holly, Dowd Angodapadal, Hungand, and B. Chandrapa, Holakari. It said Karanakara, brother of tainted mining baron G. Janaradana Reddy, was not answering calls, and Patil was reaching Bengaluru by 4 p.m. Karanakara's name is being rumored as one of the MLAs being courted by the coalition to switch sides. After reading the chit, Yediyarapa tore it up. Kong may suspend two rebels on Friday Congress leaders who met over dinner on Wednesday decided to suspend two of the four rebel MLAs on Friday if they did not turn up for the CLP meeting. Party leaders are hoping that such action will instill fear in the other two, said a senior Congress MLA who attended the meeting. The meeting was attended by Deputy Chief Minister G. Parameshwara, former CM Siddhara Maya and AICC General Secretary K.C. Venu Gopal. Leaders are also said to have decided to shift their MLAs to a resort immediately after the presentation of the budget on Friday till the time the budget is passed. Meanwhile, Siddhara Maya alleged the BJP had approached a JDS MLA, promising him a windfall in cash to switch sides. 
BJP leaders visited the house of a JDS leader yesterday and offered him 30 crore rupees cash, Siddharamaya said. But the MLA did not oblige. Similarly, they have left 5 crore rupees in the house of another MLA without saying anything. I wonder, from where they, BJP leaders, are getting so much. Money, Dynap GIRF 2019 is live, get flat 50% off at 6,000 restaurants Realtor robbed of hours 8L near bank murdered Wilson Garden woman new killer, cop spike knocks down 73-year-old near Nagasandra metro station.